so I'm here with, it's really great to meet you finally, um, Jeff Ernest from Aqua for All. Um, well, Jeff, we've, we've been involved with the Walking for Water campaign um, that Aqua for All, I know, has pioneered for eight years. Eight, eight years already, yes. So what is it about it? That's, that, why does it work so well? And what, you know, what's involved and why does it work so well? Initially, we thought it would be a good idea just to involve children with, uh, with a campaign that helps them in considering what's happening with their equal uh, classmates, but in the South. A lot of children in the South, before they go to school, they have to walk for some meters, if not kilometers, just to collect water. We thought that there would be a, a good interaction between children. That means they don't actually get to go to school a lot of the time, yeah? Oh yeah, they, they don't have time for that or yeah. even that. So that's where it started and the water companies in the Netherlands and the regional water authorities in the Netherlands and a lot of companies in the Netherlands who are very proud on the way we address the water problems worldwide, they immediately saw opportunity to explain to the children it is not only just like that that water is coming out of the tap in the Netherlands or that the toilets are flushed in a way where children don't even know where it goes to and so they saw a very nice combination of their message how we do it in the Netherlands and it is not it is not from itself and then you compare it with what's happening in, abroad yeah. and especially in the south and from from making the children realize how good we have it in the Netherlands then they suddenly they pick up the message what's happening in the south that was, I think, the main reason. Well, it is very nice to walk with backpack with six liters of water. So, so kids walk with six, six liters of water, six kilometers, which is, and I did it myself. Yeah, as I well, did it. I did it much. It is heavy. It is yeah. really heavy. So, and but children like to to seek their boundaries, to seek their limits in what they can. And they are very proud of themselves, yeah. especially those who are oversized in weight, or yeah. <laughs> those who, who are not even walking to school, but always brought by their parents in their car. They do that on this specific day, and it's linked to World Water Day, as you know. And they enjoy it. It is great fun. Also, at the end, when the water is brought to the, to the flowers or it is brought to the trees, of course, it is a water festival. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, because I had a, we, we had an issue. I was saying to some of the kids that I'd forgotten to bring a bottle of water with me when I went on it. Okay. But and I didn't, I wasn't carrying a backpack. I was looking at a camera. And I said to the kids, can I swig a bit of your water? And, oh, but that would mean they were cheating because I was drinking their oh, water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, was... yeah so, and that's, that's very remarkable. <laughs> Another thing is from walking, Walk for Water is that from the beginning, before we do this, 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 this walking itself, we visit the schools and we have water professionals and NGO professionals and they give a, a, a free lesson, especially on water here in the Netherlands and there in the south. And this lesson is a very nice lesson. It is a very nice lecture for the children to, to work with the children um, on this water and sanitation issues. So you've gathered a lot of best practice about how to do this, haven't you? Yeah. Yes, we, well, yes, and, 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 and every year again this practice we use for the next year and it grew and it grew and it grew and all of a sudden it was even a big manifestation which required help from outside and we asked ACFO, we asked a lot of NGOs to, to help us in organizing it because Last year, I, th I thought more than 20,000 pupils all over the place in the Netherlands, they, 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 they participated. Now, it's, it's really quite cheap to organize, isn't it, as well? Most of the money raised really does get to water projects. Yes, because uh, we do it, of course, with the school itself, and the school doesn't take any cost. Yeah. Uh, at least they don't see the cost. Secondly, the NGOs who bring up the implementing programs who are financed with Walking for Water, all these NGOs, they also support the manifestation without, without bringing in their costs. So finally, the only cost we have is that we provide the children the backpack and we do some, some national uh, communication and, and media attention. And then even the media, as they like the idea, 
the majority of the media they are, they are they are giving a lot of attention also without cost. Yeah. Means that the money the pupils bring together, that money almost one hundred percent goes to the program. Great. So what next? What next? Well, we, we have a lot of attention from our neighboring countries, from the States, from Germany, England. So we already were thinking of maybe we might scale up to an international campaign on World Water Day. We discussed that with ACFO and we thought, yes, it is worth to see how we can make it an international campaign. The formula is the same. It's a very simple formula all over the world. The children are also the same, they like the lesson, they like the walk, they like the fun and they like to do something for their, for their, their friends in the south. So, and we got quite good response on that. So maybe 2011 and otherwise 2012 we will see that World Water Day will be accompanied by a Walk for Water International. Great. Well, Jeff, great to meet you. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you.